Hi, my name is Tom Heffel, and this channel is all about helping students learn chemistry. In this video, we're going to do a demonstration of the combustion of methane gas. And the reason we're doing that is we're trying to prove this fact that enthalpy, which is kind of like heat flow, okay, is an extensive property. And what extensive property means is that the amount matters, okay? So the way this is going to work, okay, we have methane gas in our chem lab. And we're going to push this methane gas through this tube into this apparatus that's holding soapy water. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some more soapy water in there. Okay, and we're going to turn on the gas jets. And that gas is going to be pushed through the soapy water to where the bubbles are holding the methane gas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to light that on fire. And it's a great demonstration. Okay, so I'm going to get my hand wet. Okay, kind of protect myself, and I'm going to wear some safety get, uh, glasses. And what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to grab a small portion of the bubbles here. So just a little bit. So I'm going to pop some, and then you're going to see that when we do this, we just get a little bit of heat, okay, which would be much different than if I grabbed a whole bunch of these bubbles and lit them on fire you're going to see I get a lot more heat coming off and a bigger plume of that fireball. So what we know is that the amount of gas bubbles that I collect here and light on fire will depend on the amount of enthalpy change that's given off by that chemical reaction. Small amount of bubbles, small amount of heat. Large amount of bubbles will get a large amount of heat. Okay. Hopefully you found that demonstration exciting. If you like this type of content, please give it a like and subscribe.